Hello, everyone. Welcome to the virtual induction of our newest members of National Honor Society. My name is Janiel Spring, and I have worked as an advisor for NHS for the past six years. That means I have had the pleasure of seeing the positive effects of thousands of volunteer hours from students at Appleton North. New members, you are invited to join National Honor Society based on your scholastic achievement. You are now being tasked with expanding your achievements through leadership, character, and service. You have joined an incredible group of students who have already provided over 600 hours of service this school year. This is a remarkable accomplishment in light of the pandemic and the restrictive protocols that have changed the face of what volunteering has looked like for the past year. Gandhi has said, the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. Members, I look forward to getting lost with you. I welcome you as a member of National Honor Society and congratulate you on this noteworthy accomplishment. Now, I would like to introduce this year's president of National Honor Society, Maggie Buss. What does it mean to be a National Honor Society member? If you had asked me about four years ago as a freshman, I would have told you that it was a resume builder. I would have said it was something I just had to be in because it would look good to colleges and all the bestest, smartest, most likely to succeedest kids were in NHS. Looking back now, I realized that I missed the mark by a mile. Sure, you can use this organization as just another line on your college application, but consider what your induction into NHS really means. You've proven that you're at the top of your class academically, and you've proven your dedication to service. Now it's time to expand upon that. You're going to be held to a new standard. You will be looked at to lead. Now, that doesn't mean you need to be the loudest voice in the room, or the person with the biggest ideas, or even the greatest public speaker. It sounds scary, but leading is purely allowing your unique flame of love for your peers and for learning to be seen and shared. You lead by sharing fuel, ideas, and resources. Good leaders don't just tell people what to do, but they encourage and elevate others to be their best selves. Fire, as you know, glow, glows brighter together. Your fellow members are your family now, and you're all working towards the same goal, the betterment of our community. Work with each other, grow each other. Lead where you can, encourage where it's needed. Let the fire of kindness and sacrifice within you extend to others and lift you all up together. Service is a lifetime pursuit, but you've only got two years in this organization with all of the resources and assistance and support you could ask for. Leaders take the initiative and create their own opportunities. You'll get so much more out of this if you don't hesitate. Don't wait to be told what to do or to be given direction. You're here for a reason. We've seen that spark within you. We know your desire to improve the lives of those around you. Own your actions. Be intentional with your time here. You are a leader. The small acts of kindness, of sparkling ideas and selfless sacrifice of your time has never before been more necessary, nor more appreciated. Our community needs your fire desperately, so take this opportunity to step up and light our way. Thank you and congratulations on your induction to the National Honor Society. Now it is my pleasure to introduce Associate Principal Mr. Hermes. Hello, my name is Paul Hermes, Associate Principal of Curriculum and Instruction and the Administrative Advisor to the Appleton North Chapter of National Honor Society. It is a great honor and privilege to be part of this induction ceremony and to be connected with all of you. Congratulations on your acceptance and membership to NHS. Being at this moment, arriving at this achievement is significant and something you should be proud of. Please know that we are proud of you. Congratulations. My brief remarks tonight are organized around another pillar of National Honor Society, character. I want to begin with a reflective question to all of you. 
how would you define character? When you think of the concept of character, what do you think of? What does that mean to you? Take a moment to think about that. To me, character can be a difficult concept to define. It's something we all know, something we all talk about, something we've experienced or witnessed, and something we all think we have. Yet coming to a clear definition can be difficult, as character is a complicated concept. However, as new members of NHS, and given that character is a core pillar of our organization, I believe it's absolutely critical that you have a clear understanding of character. So to help you to do that, I've put together three truths about character. Truth number one, character is not something you will ever have. I will say that again. Character is not something you will ever have. Now, you might be thinking, well, well, gosh, who invited this guy to speak? I mean, did he just tell us that we'll never have character? What a jerk. Just, just hear me out. I don't believe that character is something you possess. It's not a thing to have or hold or get. Rather, character is something you are. Character is active. Character is action. Character is the results earned daily and checked constantly. So character is not something you have. Character is something you do. Truth number two. Character is developed through tests. And let me clarify when I say tests. I don't mean like AP tests or final exams or things like that, so just relax. There's an old adage that says, smooth seas don't make for skillful sailors. The lesson being that being tested, being challenged, facing difficulty and adversity is what builds better sailors. Well, character works the same way. Our character is created, developed, and earned through applicational difficulty. One of my favorite quotes from Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. is, quote, the ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy. What Dr. King is talking about is that character is developed through tests. Finally, and most foundationally, truth character number three. Character is always intentional. Character is not random. Character is not something you stumble into. It's never accidental. Character is always intentional. To describe this, I'll share with you an old Cherokee parable that goes like this. A Cherokee chief is teaching his grandson about life. A fight is going on inside me, the chief says to his young boy. It's a terrible fight, and it is between two wolves. One wolf is evil. He is anger, envy, sorrow, regret, greed, arrogance, self-pity, and pride. The other wolf is good. He is joy, peace, love, hope humility, generosity, and empathy. The grandson then asks his grandfather, which wolf will win? The old chief replied, the one you feed. So to the 2020-21 Appleton North NHS inductees, as you now take on the responsibility of NHS membership, please remember these three truths about character. Character is something that you are. It is not something you have. Character is formed through adversity and tests. And character is never accidental. It's always intentional. Thank you. At this time, I would invite our principal, Mr. Dave Pennenberg, to speak about another pillar of NHS. Hello. This is Mr. Pennerberg, principal at Appleton North High School. I'd like to first congratulate all the new and current members of NHS on your accomplishments. And second, 
I would like to share some thoughts on the very important NHS pillar, service. Service is seeking out and engaging meaningful acts of kindness for the benefit of others. Every day, service is seeing a need and fulfilling it voluntarily. It calls for service, a service mindset, the desire to push oneself outside their comfort zone and actively seek opportunities to help others and make the world a better place. As you know, generosity is also one of the main components of our Sources of Strength wheel here at Appleton North. Generosity comes in many forms. It can be tangible, like a donation of items or funds. It also can be intangible, like giving of time or being intentionally kind to others, like opening a door, saying hello, or asking, you know, how are you doing? And then really listening to their answer. The cool thing about service is that big or small, every act of kindness impacts not only the one that receives the act, but the giver as well. Being generous gives us a sense of purpose and brings meaning to our own lives. Sometimes it's driven by passion for specific, a specific cause or people that are in need. Other times it's driven by personal or community need. As Appleton North National Honor Society students, what are you going to do to make things better for others? This is where your service hours come into play. Make them meaningful. Don't just go through the motions and check them off. Push yourself through. Get out of your comfort level. This is the only way to truly grow as a person. Take ownership and set the bar high for yourself. Dig deep to find your true beliefs and then take it from Gandhi who inspired many by saying, your beliefs become your thoughts. Your thoughts become your words. Your words become your actions. Your actions become your habits. Your habits become your values. Your values become your destiny. Bottom line, your destiny is in your hands. Take this opportunity to truly go grow knowing you will get the most out of National Honor Society that you put into it. Again, congratulations to all our new and current members. I would now like to introduce Amanda Pageant, Vice President of National Honor Society, to lead you through the NHS oath. All right, now members, please stand and repeat after me. I pledge myself to uphold the high purposes of the National Honor Society to which I have been selected. I will be true to the principles for which it stands. I will be loyal to my school and will maintain and encourage high standards for all four pillars. Scholarship, service, leadership, and character. <laughs>